Right there, you see a couple very excited 11-week-old uh, Renaissance Bulldogs. And uh, there you see some uh, whole fish that's cut in half. I can pick it up here. Tongues. And this is a mukbang video. This is uh, frozen, so it's a little slippery. Let me get that from you there, sweetheart. There you go. It's right there. I like to start my dogs out on fish young. You know, they get it as young as uh, four or five weeks old. I have videos showing uh, litters I've had here being introduced to fish that young. I prefer to feed uh, fish to my dogs frozen. It uh, makes them chew it up a little more. Keep it up on the platform. It makes them chew it up a little more and it keeps them from getting all full of uh, fish guts and uh, fish oil. It's just a little neater that way. And it's not uncommon for canines to uh, scavenge and eat uh, raw fish in the wild. Come here. And this will take them quite a while to eat because it's frozen. That's the idea. It's kind of a warm day. And it's good exercise for them, plus they get uh, good nutrition from it. It's like, isn't there anything else up here? Look at the beautiful muscle tone on that puppy. Both of them got great muscle tone.
feed my dogs what's called the BARF diet, which is an acronym for Biologically Appropriate Raw Foods. It's a diet created by veterinarian Ian Billinghurst to address some of the modern uh, diseases affecting canines today from a nutritionally lacking commercial diet. I highly recommend a couple of books he wrote, Give Your Dogs a Bone and Grow Your Pups with Bones. I'll leave links to them in the video description below. Again, don't take my word for any of this stuff. I'm just some guy on YouTube. Do your research, and I'm providing plenty of links for that in the video description. Don't ask me any questions without looking at all the links I provide first, because they're going to answer 99% of any questions you have for me. Also, if you disagree with the way I feed my dogs, I don't care. You, you don't need to tell me in the comments. You can keep your opinions to yourself and make your own video. Again, this is just what I do. If you choose to follow my direction, that's great. If not, again, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. Get that for you, buddy. There you go. I just provide these videos to give people the information to do the research themselves. It's uh, no skin off my back if you choose to uh, do something else. There are a couple of other raw diets. The RMB diet, which is an acronym for raw meaty bones, and the prey model diet. Both I recommend over a modern uh, commercial kibble diet. I also recommend you go on Netflix and check out a documentary called Pet Fooled. And uh, it'll really open your eyes to some of the garbage that's put in uh, commercial dog food. Feeding your dogs raw does not give them a taste for blood, it does not make them more aggressive. Those are just wives tales put out there. Before commercial dog food became popular in the last hundred years, this is how people fed their dogs, they fed them raw. This is how canines are intended to eat. You don't have to worry about bones with dogs as long as the bones are raw. It is only cooked bones that are dangerous. Cooking the bone changes the consistency of the bone, makes it brittle, prone to fracture into sharp pieces, and also uh, prone to cause both bowel obstructions and perforations of the bowel. Raw bones don't do that. You also don't have to worry about raw food bacteria with dogs. 18% of cats and 36% of dogs carry salmonella as a natural part of their gut flora. They have stronger digestive juices and a shorter G tract than we do, making raw food bacteria not an issue. They are biologically designed to deal with it. I fed this way over 20 years and never had an issue with bones or raw food bacteria. I fed this way as a breeder and also as an animal warden who's rescued many dogs over the years. I used to take in uh, hard to train bull breeds and problem dogs, pit bulls, and uh, re-socialize them and find them homes. None of those dogs that were introduced to raw diets had issues with it either. But again, I'm just some guy on YouTube, do your research. Too many people online try to portray themselves as authority figures on topics they're not. I'm not one of those. While I do have a lot of experience with this, I'm not trying to put myself out there as an expert. I have a playlist of over a hundred raw feeding videos if that interests you. And, uh, buddy, you can check those out. Wiping some gunk off his eye. Again, that fish is frozen, so it's slippery. That's why you see it sliding around a lot. But I prefer to feed fish frozen for uh, 
the reasons I stated it's uh, much cleaner the dogs don't get all covered with uh, smelly fish oil and it makes them chew up the bones more Oh, good, you picked it up and brought it up there yourself. You're figuring out what I want. People always ask where I got these platforms from. I got them from a boarding kennel years ago that was going out of business and selling off their stuff. If you look up uh, raised kennel flooring on Google, you'll see some similar things pop up. They're uh, steel coated with a thick uh, layer of uh, PVC. I've had them for probably 20 years. They've uh, been outside that whole time and held up great to all weather. I leave the fins on uh, fish I feed my dogs unless it happens to be something like catfish or bullhead or eel pout. In that case I will remove the uh, spines on the uh, pectoral and dorsal fins. Behind you. 